The skills start to erode. I believe he's being handled very, very well. What do you think is going through his mind right now as far as being a champion and coming into this fight? Well, the fact that he is the champion of the world now, Sam, is going to make him a lot better fighter, and he's going to take boxing a lot more serious. I think we're going to see a very good Aaron Davis. He's taking on Billy Durbin, who hasn't fought all that much in the last two years, and it shouldn't be a too tough a fight for Aaron Davis. Well, that's what we always think, Sam, but, you know, before you go in there, you're always apprehensive. Also on the card, one of the top featherweights in the world, a top contender, Ricardo Cepeda, who is unbeaten, and he is just about a fight away from fighting for the championship. Well, you know, he's ranked number two in the world right now, Sam, and with Paez uh, moving up, he'll probably have a mandatory uh, fight for the title sometime early next year. But he's fighting a tough customer out of San Antonio, Texas, Alfred Rendon, who went 10 rounds with Rogelio Tour not too long ago. And his manager said that we're going to see a lot better Rendon tonight. He said Cepeda is in for a real tough fight. We'll also get a look at one of the top featherweight prospects around, and that is Kevin Kelly, who's coming back after being off for nine months. Uh, Kevin Kelly's one of my favorite fighters, Sam. He's a southpaw, but he's not a cute southpaw. He goes to war. He knows how to fight. He knows how to put his punches together. He broke his hand in his last bout, and I wonder if that will concern him at all in this fight tonight. I don't think so, Sam. It's been well tested in the gym, and I think he's going to let that first one go, and after that, everything will be okay. Okay, we'll get a quick look at Kevin Kelly. He's up first. Sit back, relax. Should be a good card of boxing coming your way from Duluth, Minnesota. We'll be set with our opening bout in just a moment. We are in Duluth, Minnesota, live at Pioneer Hall. As we get set for our opening bout, Kevin Kelly back in the ring. For the first time in nine months, his last bout December 23rd in Rotterdam, where he won an eight-round decision over Russell Davidson. He is 14-0 with nine knockouts, a former New York Golden Gloves champion. And in that last fight, he broke his hand. And that concerns him a great deal. He had a layoff, but uh, he has been training and working hard and getting ready for this bout. And he's anxiously awaiting uh, his return to the ring because he's climbing very rapidly as a prospect and he talked about his comeback I think every fight in the beginning you know they worry about their hands you know and they both of their hands they're their tools you need these hands to fight without your, without your tools you're nothing you're like a mechanic without a screwdriver and, and my hands are the main essentials and uh, I was real scared I was like oh my god you know my hands are hurt what am I gonna do I was up for nine months it's gonna be nine months by the time I fight again but uh, while I've been out, I've been, I, you know me, I'm a very comical person and, and I take things lightly and I joke around and kid around. And I took, took the whole time my hand's been injured, I took it that way and I feel happy about it and good about it. Now I'm coming back. And uh, just that I've been in the gym. That's the most thing. I've been in the gym. It hasn't like I've been in the gym. I've been in the gym working out every single day, five days a week, using my jab, using my jab, using my jab. I think, I think when I come back, the people better look for something to expect from Kevin Kelly. Uh, something different, something new, a change. I try to, I'm, I'm there to fight for the fans. I'm there to give them a show. And he usually does. Well, watch carefully the left hand. That's the hand he broke in his last fight in December. We are set for the introductions to our opening bout, so let's go to Paul Guggenheimer for those introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time now for our first bout of the evening, an eight-round featherweight fight. First, in the blue corner, Wearing blue trunks with white trim, weighing in at 129 pounds, with a record of 12 wins and two losses, with three knockouts, from Harlingen, Texas, Cruz Seldena. And in the red corner, wearing white trunks with blue trim, weighing in at 126 pounds, he is undefeated with a record of 14 wins, no losses, and 11 knockouts. From Flushing, New York, Kevin Kelly. The referee for tonight's first fight is Jim Peralt Sr. Kevin Kelly, the southpaw, and as we mentioned, that's the hand to watch for. It's his big punching hand, Gil, and we'll see if he hesitates in any way or if there's any pain when he throws it. Well, Sam, I think he, the first time he may be apprehensive, but uh, 
once he gets going, I think he's going to be fine. You know, a lot of that has to depend on the way you land the punch and the way your hands are bandaged. If he punches correctly, I don't think he has a thing to worry about. His trainer, Phil Borgia, Kevin Kelly, 23 years old, has been fighting professionally for two years. Across the way, Cruz Saldana, who is originally from Veracruz, now fighting out of Harlingen, Texas. This is his first fight in the United States. He's 12-2, and two, has three knockouts, and has been fighting three years as a pro. And then we'll check with the timekeeper at ringside. Here in Minnesota, the rules include a standing eight count with the exception of the main yeah, event. There is a standing a eight count in effect. You can be saved by the bell only in the last round. There is a three knockdown rule in effect. And the doctor can stop the fight after consulting with the referee. And I've also noticed the saying that they have to put the surgical gloves on the referee about in this state. All right. Now he's trying, he's taking them off now. Little problem. Meanwhile, Kevin Kelly anxiously awaiting the sound of the bell. He's three strides out into the ring. And just staring hard across at Cruz Saldana. All right, cards have been handed out to the three judges at ringside. This is a return, a revival of boxing here in Duluth, Minnesota. They put on a card here in May and was very successful. And they're hoping to revive boxing, which was very popular here in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. As Sam, and they have some great talent on the show tonight. They, they have uh, four fighters in particular, including champion Aaron Davis, that I'm very anxious to watch. Kelly with a quick touch of gloves and a quick left hand. Saldana has fought three fights this year, all in Mexico. He won all three. Kelly with a quick combination and a good straight left hand. And Saldana backs off in a hurry. Well, there was that left hand, Sam. He tested it early. will probably be put to the test guild because as we know, boxing fans know Mexicans traditionally very tough fighters who take the punch very well. Right here, Kelly all over Cruz Saldana. And Sam, you know, a lot of southpaws are cute southpaws. They take advantage of it and they box and they move and they're very difficult. They, not, not Kelly, he's an action fighter. He's putting his punches together all the time. Kelly well, did shake his hand one time, the left hand after throwing a punch. Good right hand gets in and he follows with a left. Kevin Kelly looking very sharp. Putting his punches together, Sam. He's not saving that left hand at all. Beautiful combination. Down goes Cruz Saldana. The count is four. The count is five, and it doesn't look like Saldana will get up. That's it. He wants no more. There was too much of Kevin Kelly in the first round. Sam, it wasn't much of a test for Kelly. It was all action while it lasted. He kept putting his combinations together, but it didn't seem to me it was that devastating a punch no, to I, get him out of there, Sam. I just got the feeling that uh, Saldana didn't want anymore. Kelly had landed virtually every punch he thrown. And he did put his punches together, and he did use that left hand. That's what they were anxious to see. So, quick work and disappointment on the part of Cruz Saldana. Cruz Saldana, one of a couple of Mexicans on the card tonight who are hoping to showcase their skills to get more fights in the United States. That will not help him. No, I don't think so, Sam. Short work. And Kevin Kelly takes care of business in a hurry. Let's take a look at this knockdown. There was a good straight right jab. And Sam, it just seemed to me that it was the right jab that got Saldano out of there. Let's take another look at it. Now, here we are. We're watching the action. Let's see for a big, strong punch. That's it. Just that straight, right jab. That's all it was. Two jabs. Mm -hmm. They hurt. <laughs> they hurt, <laughs> Sam. But sharp. A good professional fighter shouldn't be uh, taken out with those I kind agree of punches. With you. But I also think it was the earlier punches that uh, had Saldana backing up 
and had him wanting to find a quick exit. Uh, let's let's say that he got beaten mentally rather than physically, Sam. Right away. We'll be kind to him and leave it that way. Kevin Kelly, 15-0 with 10 knockouts, a successful return, but I think he would have liked to have gotten a little more work. Back with more fight night action. The of the first round, he takes him out, yeah. stiff. Right hand, follows it up with another sharp jab. Saldana saw another punch coming and decided to go down rather than let it hit him. And he stayed down. Kevin Kelly is at ringside with Gil Clancy. Let's go to Gil. Hey, congratulations, Kevin. Congratulations, guys. Kevin, I, I know that uh, this was an easy fight for you, if there is such a thing as an easy fight. But the major thing was for you to test that left hand. How did it feel? It felt great. See, it wasn't that easy because the guy was swapping, too. Uh, I threw the left hand right away, as you've seen. I wanted to know what it felt like before I even got it really into the fight because I would know if I had to rely, rely on my right hand. But working with Mike Hoffman, uh, you know, Bill and Phil, and the whole show, as you say, the Bill and Phil show, we got it together, and I was able to come back successfully, and I dropped him with a jab. I know that you dropped him with a, with a double jab. It was two jabs. The one time, though, Kevin, when you threw a left hand, it seemed to me like you shook the hand. Was there any reason for that? No, I just shook the arms loose to get him free. Oh, that's why I heard Phil scream at me to say, Kevin, you know, just continue the combinations, continue throwing punches, and let them go a little quicker, he said. And what happened was I felt a little tight because, of course, my first time back, felt a little different, a little awkward. Once I hit him with the first two shots, everything came back to me. Well, you know, Kevin, in the gymnasium is where you're supposed to take you out of left hand. You've boxed a lot of rounds in the gym. Did it ever bother you at all? Uh, I had almost re-injured it when I hit it. Reggie, Reggie Tor, which is the other fighter. But I'd like to take, it, I'd like to take a shot out and say hi to him at home. Uh, I hit him on the elbow, and uh, I thought I re-injured my, my fourth monocarpal, which is the fourth finger down. And uh, it was it gave us a scare. I got a tomograph at New York Hospital, and they said it was fine. I'll be able to fight, and here I am today. Are you studying medicine in school or something? I met a couples. I mean, tell me all about oh, these different. I, I pick up anything I can wherever I can get it, whenever they give it to me. Metal couples and the whole thing, the bones. I'm learning. I'm a, I think I'm a scientist in the ring. Okay. Anyhow, Kevin Kelly's back now. Let's get back to Sam Rose in the ringside. Waking up box. Thank you, Gil, and congratulations to Kevin Kelly as uh, he returns to the ring with a victory over Cruz Saldan on the first round. Back with more boxing action. In